if someone has ever referred to you as Plum Wild, <laughs> then you'll be so glad you stuck around for more Explore Tulsa. Well, yes, but Plum Wild is a boutique in the Rose District of Broken Arrow, where we'll find Sally Redwine and her staff making shopping fun again. Plum Wild, there were three of us trying to come up with a name and purple's my favorite color. And um, sometimes I can be a little on the fun side. So Plum Wild just was a natural fit. I started selling insurance, oh gosh, probably 40 years ago and did that for about 20 years and then answered an ad that sold compliance software so that in the insurance industry. So it was just a natural fit and did that for 20 years. I learned that you ask them what they need. You don't sell them what you want them to have. So it's real easy just to really carry on a conversation, ask them what, you know, really what they're interested in, what their needs are, and then trying to find a solution and let them walk away happy. When I was started in 16, I worked for 15 years in retail, and it was kind of always a dream to have a store and I found myself unemployed after, you know, like I said, 40 years of being in one industry. And a friend of mine came in and she made these wreaths. And she said, I want to put, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put my wreaths in a pop-up store. And I said, no, 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 I'll open up a store. Cause I just, like I said, had time on my hands. My husband had an office building that was set up like a vendor situation. So it was perfect and it was empty. So we started and we just, vendors just kept coming in and coming in. I have no idea where they came from. They just kept coming in. So I felt like it was meant to be and we ended up doing well for just the Christmas season two years ago. And so here we are. My husband actually sold the building that we were in originally. And so I just could not find a place to save my life. And this opened up and it was just meant to be and we were just thrilled with it because it was perfect the way it was already built out. It was perfect for a clothing store. So we do have, we have local vendors and they're from Tulsa, Broken Arrow, surrounding areas that they are the artists. I am not artistic, I can't make anything. I just like to sell things. So they come in and we have um, like jewelry that's made with natural stones. It's made by a lady that is here in, in Tulsa and all her things are handmade, one of a kind. We have, um, like I said, things from Shark Tank. We have easy peasy mats that are mats that can't come off the table so children can't throw their food on the floor. We have Grace and Lace is a clothing um, item that we carry and Grace and Lace does mission work and they are also from Shark Tank. That's what I found, where I found them. And they give 10% of all their profits um, away. And gosh, we have everything. We have pillows, we have baby clothing, we have children's items, we have you know, mugs, wine glasses, just everything you can possibly imagine, a little bit of everything. We want everybody greeted as they walk in. We want it, you know, we say goodbye to them when they walk out. We wanna make sure that they feel welcome. They wanna play dress up. We don't want any pressure. Nobody can say bad things about their bodies. <laughs> we don't allow that. <laughs> so yes, we try our hardest to be really friendly and make sure that they are feel good when they're in here and know that we want them in here. It's awesome. It really is scary. It's very scary because now all the pressure's on me. And, but to hear somebody walk in and say, oh, this is the cutest little store, this is a great little shop, or see somebody out with a sack from Plum Wild or with their clothes on from here, it just makes my heart sing, I love it.